Hi! I am today unboxing this glass bottle cutter that I bought online. So I'm removing this and I hope, just hope that some uh, online sellers would have to do away with too much plastic. So here it is now. Here's the box and we're opening it and it looks like something as simple as this so we have another bubble wrap to remove and according to some of the reviews i read i always read the reviews by the way before i buy something uh, it is effective so i'll have to see how effective it is when i actually use it so here uh, I have three things inside the box. So here is the main product. Okay. And then this one looks like a screw driver, a small screw driver. And I would think I would have to use this somewhere here. How do I know? I'll have to read this manual instructions. Oh, and there's another piece here pala. It's a sandpaper. So it looks like sandpaper for metal. So we're going to cut a bottle. We're going to try out this glass bottle cutter. What I did first was to read this thoroughly. Also, so I know that the uh, parts are complete. The parts are written at the back of the instructions. So I think they are complete. And so next, I want to know where to cut the bottle so here's a bottle and i decided i want to cut it at 15 centimeters high so i i took out a a, 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 a meter uh, stick or meter tape you can use a ruler if you want but uh, because i decided they want it to be 15 centimeters i gotta adjust the screws here and here at the same time but be careful because you want to measure it at 15 centimeters on this side and on this side as well. Otherwise, you might be cutting uh, it uh, unequally. So, ready to cut. So, 15 centimeters. So, we just put the bottle here. The higher end of this cutter, that's where you put the bottom of your bottle. And you will notice that on the other end is the cutter itself. See? So that's where the cut will be made. So you put the bottom of the bottle here. And then you just push it and turn it to yourself, toward yourself. Okay? Just keep turning, keep turning, keep pushing down. Just be careful that... Uh, it stays in place okay. so we just keep turning pushing down turning you will hear a uh, sound a uh, grating sound that's when you know that something's happening of course you will also see I didn't take off the label of the bottle so it's the first thing that's been taken away but now you see that there is a uh, a mark on where the cutter or where we're pressing the bottle to the cutter so it goes all around so what you do is just keep pressing and turning press and turn press and turn make sure you use both hands and what I do is I make sure I don't put my hand on where the cut is being made I put my hands one on one side and the other on the other side of the cut being made okay be careful all right so you, you'll notice now i put the cutter on the floor but so that because this this is a tile these are tiles i don't want the cutter to slip while i'm cutting the bottle so i used a mouse pad to keep it in place so what it's easier when it's on the floor because i'm now able to uh, naturally push down with my arms in a natural position so I continue to 
push and turn rotate push and turn push and turn push and turn so you just keep pushing and turning 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 and as you go along you'll notice that the cut is getting deeper the mark is getting more prominent and another thing before I started the cutting I wore my eyeglasses if you want to be safer you can also wear gloves so or if you don't wear glasses you can wear um, goggles to protect your eyes just in case something uh, untoward happens but if you're careful if you're careful enough nothing like that will happen so just keep on turning and turning and pushing slowly and carefully okay. so now we have the score on the bottle that's the mark just enough the next step is we use a candle to heat up that portion okay so we just heat it up just rotate it on that portion of the score on the bottle we heat it up okay. you can also use hot water for this okay so okay. so after heating it now we go and use a cube of ice to you know cool it down heat it up use a candle maybe 20 seconds and then use ice pull it down pull it down Okay. Then we just wipe it a bit, heat it up. Now 20 seconds, heat up at the score, heat it up. You can also use hot water. You can pour hot water on the score instead if you want. I just chose to use the candle now. Okay, and then pull it down, use ice, cool it down, cool it down, cool it down. So if you use hot water to heat it up, then you gotta use cold water to cool it down. In my case, I use candle and ice. Okay, so after a while, I was able to cut it. Um, but since it's my first time, it's not even. <laughs> but the objective was to cut. So we are going to cut it in the uneven. This is where this sandpaper comes in. So you can sand it up like you wish. That's it. Bye bye.